What is up, y'all? It's your girl, brand new, and honey, we are back in the building. Listen, listen. This time, honey, we are back to talk about Miss Destiny Payton, formerly of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, y'all know that the last review I did of Destiny was the My Future Wifey podcast where Destiny was on and she was complaining about the barbecue and how he kept dragging her back and forth to court. Okay. He wasn't paying no no child support and she kind of made it look like, you know, um, he wasn't helping her like that. Okay. He was making it hard for a sister. Okay. But guess what? Guess what? And I know y'all didn't already heard this because this story has been around, you know, for some weeks now. But, honey, Miss Robinson just getting to it because I've been busy, honey, doing other things, okay? But this story just keep going on and on with Destiny and La Barbecue. They are back in the courtroom on Valentine's Day. Not the Valentine's Day. Can a sister get a hug? Can I get some chocolate kisses? <laughs> that damn La Barbecue, honey, he stay on Destiny broke. <laughs> it's like damn sis what you do to him y'all think destiny cheated on that man she did something to him because he bad as hell now shout out to uh my people honey over at the urban bell shout out to that blog honey they say that destiny payton is due back in court on valentine's day Former Love and Marriage Huntsville star Destiny Payton will be back in a courtroom this Valentine's Day. This hearing comes after her ex-husband filed a motion. The motion filed is regarding a recent bankruptcy filing by Destiny herself. Ooh, cha. Previously, Destiny was arrested after LaBaric, see, see, I know how to say his name. <laughs> La Barbecue Williams accused her of forging his name on a utility contract. So y'all remember when she was down to the My Future Wifey podcast, she said that wasn't true. And remember, I think I even did a community post on it like, oh, well, they, you know, the charges have been dismissed. And, you know, I was kind of looking at La Barbecue. Okay, like, say what now? What, what had happened? Okay, so it says LaBaric filed paperwork in a Madison County, Alabama court to reopen their divorce case. Why? Okay, what the hell? Why you want to go back, La Barbecue? Within these court documents, he is accusing Destiny of not following the agreements in their divorce decree. According to YouTuber T from TV, shout out to her, LaBaric says Destiny allegedly violated the decree in settlement by making it very difficult to sell their marital home. It is also alleged that Destiny refused to refinance the home in her name, removing LaBaric's from the mortgage. Therefore, LaBaric filed documents in September to have the courts enforce the agreements in their divorce decree and settlement, LaBerry claims Destiny is also violating their visitation agreements for their only child. Girl, you ain't letting that man see that baby, okay? But honey, however, Destiny spoke a very different tune in a recent Dear Future Wifey podcast interview. Destiny refutes LaBaric's claims. During the podcast, Destiny says she didn't put him on child support and gave him everything. It is noted in their divorce decree and settlement agreement that Destiny can live in the house for a year after the divorce. Destiny could keep the house if she refinanced the home in her name. Destiny went on to say that she tried to refinance the home in the time frame agreed upon. However, the mortgage underwriters would not approve it because LaBaric allegedly refused to give her a mortgage statement. Destiny also spoke on turning herself in for the forgery charges brought forth by LaBaric. 
She alludes that the Crime Stoppers notice was put out there to embarrass her. T from TV reports LaBeric filed the motion in Destiny's bankruptcy case to enforce their settlement within their divorce and force Destiny to refinance their home. He also wants the judge to find Destiny in criminal contempt. This is because of statements made about the divorce in recent interviews. However, the documents do not specifically refer to the Dear Future Wifey podcast interview or any other specific interview by Destiny. So let's see what the people think about this. One person says Destiny is the female version of Martell. She needs to leave her ex-husband alone. Another person says, I find it interesting how everyone turned on Destiny, but not Tisha or Kimmy, who are both pygmies, SMH. Another person says, Destiny needs to stop doing these interviews for a check. She is out in the ocean treading water with no land in sight. LaBeric is circling her ready to go in for the kill. I want to know why she's doing all this talking now. She didn't or simply refused to open up on Love and Marriage Huntsville. I also think she and LaBeric were putting on a front for the cameras when first shown on the show. There's no way all of it was surprising to Destiny because she was too cool about it. LaBeric wanted to keep things private, so he let her have the show, and she didn't get into the details, but she told it. What is her motive? What's going on with her business? What is she doing now, you guys? She's still uh, selling the lottery tickets? Like, what is she doing? Is she still a real estate agent? I don't know what Destiny is doing. I thought that she probably would want to come back to Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's what I was thinking. Another person says, I honestly think Destiny married LaBeric for a come up. Well, if you say that, Destiny will say she was making more money than him at the time. And a lot of people, you know, they don't believe that. Um, she knew coming into the relationship that LaBeric was a successful entrepreneur and that he could somewhat take care of the lifestyle she wanted. But for LaBeric to file for divorce not long after the baby was born got me wondering what really happened. Destiny was looking at LaBeric as a money bag. Do y'all agree with that, honey? Let's look at some more comments. Another person says, and she couldn't refinance because she has no income. Another person says, LaBeric definitely got out quicker than Bounty. She seemed like trouble. She changed on mail, all the while being held over the flames herself. She could have easily had an ally in mail. She chose the losing team, Martell. So another person says, in daycare terms, any child under three years of age is considered an infant. Once the child turns three years old, they are toddlers. If they are eligible, they can go to Head Start based on the parent's income. What she did in court, telling the judge she's breastfeeding, that's why she got the baby. Then the baby turned three years old. They can do week on and week off, just like the Rogers and Holt custody arrangement. If she didn't say the abuse during the divorce procedures, then he has the right to defend himself. Her statement can affect his jobs and businesses. What do y'all think about that? Now the person says, and remember, she tried to shame Melody for filing bankruptcy. Looky, looky. Yeah, I do remember a comment that she made like, yeah, I didn't have to file for bankruptcy. So another person says, I never believed Destiny. Destiny is a female image of Martell. Another person says, LaBeric certainly dodged a bullet. Another person says, poor credit won't let you refinance. And another person says, child, not the paperwork saying the exact opposite of what she said. 
Another person says, well, Moses said she was a mess and broke. Oh, child. Another person says, I knew Destiny was lying. She lied a couple of times on the show. No wonder she was kind of hesitant and not in agreement when the interviewer suggested wanting to interview Liberic to get his side of the story. Another person says the insurance became an issue because Liberic filed the first divorce three months after being married. When they discovered Destiny was with child, the divorce was postponed. When Destiny delivered, the divorce papers were refiled and granted. Destiny discussed this when Melody came over. Another person says she's losing left and right. She needs to keep quiet and find a job. Hating her ex and mail isn't working for her. You know what I think should happen? I think that uh, LeBaric should speak out on this. He's just like, you know, he's following his paperwork. Um, I haven't heard where he denied any of the abuse. I think of some of everything is true in this situation. This is unfortunate though, because it's like it's it's gonna be hard to move on with your life. You know, you keep being dragged in the courtroom, and then he's opening up the divorce again, and it's just like, but you do have to honor, you know, whatever you all agreed upon. But she kept making it look like, oh, I can't talk about him on Love and Marriage Huntsville. That's you know, that's how it was put out here. And then it was, it was like, yeah, but I could talk to certain content creators. Cause I didn't see her talk to DJ Richie Sky, the Kia Simone lady. We seen the interview she did with Anthony Lofties that didn't go that well, you know, so she didn't been out here, you know, talking and talking. I think that LeBaric should, um, come out, do an interview and, and address all of this. I, I really do. And all he has to do is one damn interview. Take your ass on over there to Carlos. That way, you know, you can present uh, your side. But yeah, this is messy, you guys. Um, I'm not Destiny's biggest fan. Um, but, you know, I still do feel bad for her. Call me a damn fool. But I do. I just, it's a lot because I know she got this child with this man. And, you know, going back and forth to court, honey, that's taxing. That That's a lot on your mental health, right? It's a lot. So I really do wish her and baby law the best. I hope, um, you know, Destiny makes it out of this situation because I want to hear more about, um, you know, her getting charged for the forgery and then they dismissed it. Like, I want to know more details. I feel like we're only kind of getting bits and pieces. And then he had her ass on the Crime Stoppers. And she was like, yeah, that was to embarrass me. And people will do that. You know, they want to make you look bad, want to make you look stupid. They want to shame you. So, yeah, I need more information on this. Okay, so next, guys, we got this post from Marceau Scott. Okay, and it says, do women ever voluntarily pull their friends aside and tell them, hey, you're treating your man wrong. You're going to lose him if you keep it up like men actually do. Now, he was he talking about... um. Destiny and LeBaric, honey. Was he a friend of LeBaric? Y'all put it in the comments. Y'all let me know because it just looked kind of suspicious. And I remember when she was um, going through that divorce with LeBaric, the guys were like getting on her. So I don't know um, if she cheated on him. Remember, she got down to the reunion and said they took breaks. See, it's just like we, we just don't know. Do you see what I'm saying? What's true? What's not true? You know, it, it, child. Child. Y'all ain't going to be. <laughs> Y'all ain't going to be putting Miss Robinson through all this confusion. Because I done told you, God is not the author of confusion. 
Okay, Destiny and La Barbecue is, and Marceau and Tisha. You got a dance so brand new. You you keep me and my man name at your mouth. But we gonna get to y'all ass in a minute, cause y'all done raised the prices on that bullshitty you wanna call a espo. Okay. So child A is dragging Marceau in the comments because, you know, because of his post that he put up about you going to lose that good man, you know. So one person says, says the dude who helped Martel cheat. You better say it because he was he was out there drinking with Martel. And while Martel was out, you know, with that ugga booga letting her out of her cage for a few hours, you know, he was out there. He was out there with that man. Another person says you had a friend who cheated on his wife for years. You didn't give advice. You covered up his lies. You hung out with the side serving. Oh, not the side serving. <laughs> Another person says someone refreshed my memory when he has listened to anyone about his wife. Also, is Tisha about to lose him? Girl, Tisha talk all that shit, but women like her are very weak. Their identity resides within the man that they are with. They do not see their man as a separate human being. You know, they're so jealous and so possessive of that man. And meanwhile, you're not allowed to have any feelings. You know, you are with the narcissist. It's all about them. It's all about you catering to his needs and feelings. And, you know, so child, anybody could be with a narcissist. All you got to do is be the damn puppet. I mean, I'm just saying. Another person says, I guess him attempting to give advice to Martel about the subject was him and his brother laughing and cackling at the car wash. I remember that. I never take advice from a fool like him, but to answer his question, of course, we check our friends when they're about to do something stupid. Exactly. And he didn't do that. And a lot of men, um, you know, they are okay with their friend cheating because it really is socially acceptable. I know I didn't been around men and they didn't, you know, had girlfriends and wives and, and I had one, um, conversation with this married man and we were talking about cheating and cheating was so wrong, but guess what? It wasn't wrong when it came to his friend doing a lot of flirting behind his girlfriend's back. See, it's always these double standards when it comes to them and the excuse of, of course, right? The excuse of, of choice is, yeah, but he a man. Y'all should have seen me when he said that. And I was just looking at him. I was like, don't, he a man that don't nobody want, don't nobody want his big polar bear looking ass shit. Get his ass on. Okay, of course his friend was trying to holler at Miss Robinson, but honey, I don't do legs, breasts, hips, and thighs unless they my own. Okay, shit. When I deal with a man, I just want to know about that long stick. Okay, how you doing? Shit, speak my language and then you can speak to me, goddammit. But honey, that's a story. <laughs> that's a story for another day. Child, they just dragging his ass in the comments. Talking about uh, Marceau, he stay embarrassing Tisha. He really posted this on Beyonce's internet for everyone to see. I know he just doing his usual telling jokey jokes. This the same person that helped Martel cheat. And then went to comfort his wife when she was falling apart. Yeah, look at the look at uh, how he played it. Look at Tisha. Tisha brought up Martel cheating all them times. See, it don't matter if that stuff is is true or not. It's it's the fact that were you ever a friend to Mel? Because if you were really a friend to Mel, you would have never threw her man cheating on her in her face, Tisha. But Tisha did that because she was jealous of Mel. And even when people are jealous of you, they like to humble you. And they don't mind using another brother Tucker to do it. So, yeah. Because Tisha 
is male identify and she felt like well martel was cheating on melody and so she must not be worth much like that's literally how her weak ass thinks so i child could never be bothered with a latifa honey now let's get to the ticket price um increase when it comes to the black espo they need to move that damn x because i don't see i don't hear no damn x when tisha say espo i i hear s okay so to get an access pass that's 199 dollars now who paying for this who paying for this shiggity Vendor pass, $399. Now, I wonder, with all the money that they making off of this, are they going to pay the business owner and, and all the other people that they owe, you know, they got them lawsuits out on them? Okay. Are y'all going to the Black Business Expo, honey? They couldn't get no food stamps up out of me. They, they wouldn't get none of my money. Mm-mm. I wonder if Stormy go be down with them fools. Stormy says she ain't fooling with them no more. She is not fooling them. I just saw Stormy, honey. Stormy outside looking good. She didn't lost some weight. She got some blonde hair in, looking like Lil Kim. Okay. <laughs> she look good though. Stormy uh look nice. I didn't see Melody at her little event that she had. So I wonder, are they cool or what's going on? But child, the people is dragging them in the comment section, but they got a supporter. One person says, good for them. Anyone complaining about the price is just ridiculous. Marketing for a complete year would cost more than this. All vendors will be shown on the show they are literally giving out a free commercial anytime the episode is aired or watched i hope the shit you know really takes off this time because we know if it don't latifa you know she can't she can't handle no constructive feedback honey she can't handle no constructive criticism honey she go she gonna run away she go cry in the car i'm not gonna cry in the car absolutely i tried to give tisha advice but you know she didn't want to hear it <laughs> what you say mel <laughs> she didn't want to hear what i had to say 